Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me, I've got a Valmar 56 series hooked up, and I want to walk you through some of the ISO settings here. I'm going to turn the camera around, and we're going to dig into this ISO controller. So here's your home screen. Um, to get to here, whenever you fire up your tractor on a 2630, you'll see the cedar icon, and this opens up. Now I've got my hydraulic engaged here, so my fan is showing RPMs. My fan is actually spinning. Now what I, want, what I want to walk through first is this miles per hour. As you can see, I'm not moving. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a simulated speed to test the meters before I go to the field. So right now, right now this computer thinks I'm traveling five miles an hour so I'm seeding, I'm putting out my target rate, that's my actual rate, that's my target, and this is the revolutions of the meter. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a simulated speed. Right now it's shown at zero because we are not moving at all, so I'm gonna set up a simulated speed. You'll go to settings, three dots, the miles per hour and right here it says speed source tractor where you're going to hit this button and simulation we're going to change our simulated speed to five miles an hour hit the check mark go home and our speed now says five I can now turn on my power button and the meter will spin and that is a way to test that everything is working before I go to the field. That's a great way if a guy says, well, my meter is not spinning. I haven't put in a simulated speed. It shows me my RPMs of the meter. It tells me we're putting out seed and we're hitting our target rate. This tests everything within the system. It tests our PWM valve. It tests our shaft speed sensors. And we know that everything's running proper, properly. So. I'm gonna turn it off, and now we have to turn it back to our tractor speed. So our speed source, we want to be implement. So we hit, actually we want it to be tractor, sorry. So we will hit the tractor button to confirm, press the check mark, and now when we go home, our speed is zero, and it will now read our speed off of our tractor. So that is how you do that. Now I wanna walk everyone through how to calibrate. You'll hit settings. This is the calibration button. Enter in the density of your product, which you do that on another page. You tell it how many pounds you want it to spit out. You tell it how fast it wants to pretend that it's going. And you hit play. And you can see it's counting down actual mount, target pulses, actual pulses, and when it finishes with all of that, I'm gonna pause it, but when you finish, a box will show up that you have to enter in the mass that you actually caught, and then you hit the check mark button. What that does is it changes your calibration factor, which is cubic feet per revolution. How it does all of its math is it takes the cubic feet times the density of your product to get your actual target rate. So that is how we get into our calibration. This is where you would set your width of your implement and all your measurements. Um, this is a diagnostics page telling you certain things, but really what you need to know is uh, how to change products, which is here take a product and you name it and you enter in everything about it. You can rename it cover crop. There, it's called cover crop. If I want to change information about my product, I hit settings and it's right there. Because since I chose cover crop as my desired product, I can change it to product two that is what I will change my, 
my uh, information at. So you choose your product in here and you change the information about it right here under the settings tab. As soon as you hit settings, it's right there. Change your density and change your target rate. 